Hello and welcome to Universe Mode. This is Monday Night Raw. It is the final Raw before the Royal Rumble and we are starting things off with some tag team action. Thank you Lillian for being late as always. Well, we're starting things off with some tag team action. As I said, I am your host for tonight. Once again, by myself, the living legend, Ice Crisco. Unfortunately, the charismatic JDL is still encountering monitor problems. AKA his laptop is still broken. Um, but we are starting things off with tag team action. Uh, we are seeing four men involved in the Royal Rumble in six days' time. Tyson Kidd and Dolph Ziggler are going to team up to take on the team of Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. It should be a very interesting tag team match to get underway. Uh, due to complications with Hugo Ross, I filled in for him and I was able to uh, supply you with the card tonight. Uh, you can thank me later. But anyway, here comes Dolph Ziegler. Ziegler making his way down to the ring. Getting ready for the Royal Rumble this Sunday. Ziggler could technically be one of the favorites to win to win the Rumble. I mean, he's been on a good run recently. Over these last few months, he had, you know, he's been in his top feud with Daniel Bryan. He had a shot at the U.S. title at Armageddon, and now here, well, now in six days' time at the Royal Rumble, he could have a chance to go to WrestleMania. Of course, there are 29 other men who want that opportunity as well. And one man on my brand who needs it more than anything else. But nevertheless, Ziggler again ready. It's going to be weird to see how Ziggler and Tyson Kidd can team up, considering just last month they were opponents against each other. But here comes, yeah, definitely one of the favorites to win the Royal Rumble. Roman Reigns has a huge chance of going to WrestleMania to potentially take on Sting or Tyler Breeze, depending on what happens at the Rumble. And their opponents first, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Roman Reigns making his way over the barricade into the ring, slowly but surely. Reigns looking to make... A big impact, just six days. Let's have a look what will happen tonight. Of course, we've seen uh, Reigns and uh, Daniel Bryan team up in the past. I believe they were successful, but they were never a proper team. But on the raw side of things, I know I've said favorite quite a lot, but on the raw side of things, this is, in my mind, the favorite to win the Royal Rumble. I don't know if I've said this already, but I believe 2016 is going to be Daniel Bryan's year on Monday Night Raw. I know I've said that by the end of the year, I predict him holding the World Championship. And I honestly think that Raw is in for a great year. And I think Daniel Bryan's going to be the lead man for it. Let's see what will happen though. As we get set for this tag team action, of course, we've still got a bit of an ongoing feud. Well, it's not really ongoing, it was kind of squashed back at uh, Survivor Series between Ziggler and Bryan. But uh, nevertheless, you know, they've still got the hatred for one another, so it's, it's always ongoing. As this match, up, as this match gets underway now. <laughs> oh, well, good start for Tyson Kidd. They're getting completely overpowered by Roman Reigns. As these two men get underway, let's talk through the match card for tonight. Oh, like suplex there, well done. Uh, I'm having a look at the match card tonight. Okay, here we go. 
Alright, match card. I, this is probably not in order, but I'm going to go with what I can remember. Um, what's after? Yeah, I've already forgot it. I believe after this is Alberto Del Rio versus Dean Ambrose. If I'm not mistaken. If not, then it's Bubba Ray Dudley versus Triple H. Uh, then there's... Then after those two matches, there is the uh, fourth match of the night. The two number one contenders go up... Oh, Jesus. Go up against each other. Uh, Edge, the number one contender for the United States Championship, takes on... I'm, I'm bad at remembering. Takes on Tyler Breeze, the number one contender for the World Championship. And for our main event, a huge match. Sting is going to go one-on-one. -on -one with perhaps the biggest name when it comes to Royal Rumbles in this universe, that man being Stone Cold Steve Austin. We'll see what happens in all those matches later on tonight, but right now, it's Tyson Kidd and Daniel Bryan going at it. Tyson Kidd in a bit of control. With Daniel Bryan turning him around, hooking him in. Looking for a German, and he's got a German suplex on Daniel Bryan. Because over these last few months, Tyson Kidd has changed from that sort of, that guy who just, oh, well, aside from never showing up, just never did anything, to now one of the major contenders for the World Championship. And who knows, maybe by the end of this year, Tyson Kidd could be World Champion. You never know. Don't ever count him out. As a tag mage, here we go, Dolph Ziggler's in the ring, he gets to have his hands on Daniel Bryan once again. He's taking it to him right now. Brian not looking the best in this matchup. If you done it yet, check out He's trying to fight back, though. Brian getting himself back in this match. No light suplex. Dolph Ziggler. And a snap, maybe. That's the one. Oh, he's spinning him. I only just noticed he's spinning him. JDL was sure he'd say he hasn't seen that since the 1925s. But, you know, calling this on my own once again is still not that easy. Oh, he's got a bit of Dragon Sleeper. Dragon Sleeper searched in on Dolph Ziggler, but he's not going to tap out. Yes, they were, weren't they, Michael Cole? What's Daniel Bryan going to go for here? Daniel Bryan locking in the... the, the uh, what's it called? Danielson Special. The suplex into the armbar, but it's not going to get the job done. Oh my god, that was an aggressive punch. Oh, big knee to the gut there. And drop kick. My god, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Daniel Bryan's rivalry with Randy Orton was special. I mean, when in every match, the two just went... Um, I don't even know that. Just completely zoned out so for a bit. Daniel Bryan bringing him back. I have a funny feeling the Bryan... Not He's going to spin him again! <laughs> just yet. Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. Somebody's going to get hurt in this match. Roman Reigns tags in. Oh, he's taking it right away to Dolph Ziggler. There we go. That's uh Oh god! <laughs> it's the KO! Chris Hero will be in touch. Today, too fast. Ah. He gets the tag. Drink thing. Sonic break. I mean Ben versus Randy Orton is one of the best get tagged in. Roman Reigns could be in trouble. Yeah, he's gonna. Oh, there we go. Dolph Ziggler tagging in the turnbuckle. Turnbuckle's now the legal man. Double neck breaker to Roman Reigns. And the cover on Roman Reigns. The ref counting the wrong kind of one, two, three. One, two. No, Reigns out of two. By God, that's shocking. Irish whip in the buckle. Ziggler going to take him up to the top row. This could be a problem. Oh, no, my Roman Reigns getting his way out of it. Elbow. Oh, top rope clothesline. Looked like a spear, but it wasn't. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> and I think I know who the crowd won in this match. Back suplex and a hip up to follow up with it by Dolph Ziggler. Cocky job there, picks it up to his feet. 
What makes Roman Reigns such a Super kick to Reigns. Reigns goes down. The cover. One, two. Reigns is out. Match continues on. Oh, big kick to the back there. This has been mostly Dolph Ziggler and Tyson Kidd tonight, uh, so far in this matchup. Sleeper! Oh my god, if he goes for the pinfall after this, this match is over. If he goes for that pinfall, it's over. Dean Ambrose found the effect of the sleeper hold and was pinned after it. Could the same happen to Roman Reigns? Oh, he doesn't make a tap out. But he goes for the pin. One, two, the streak continues. Two sleeper hold into pinfalls and two wins for Dolph Ziggler. What a move. Screw the zigzag, super hold, followed by a pinfall, one, two, three, all the time. Tyson Kidd and Dolph Ziggler, allies tonight, opponents this Sunday, that is if they'll even meet in the ring crawl, we know. Um, I can't say so is going to be number one anymore because we already know who number one is, but Tyson Kidd can make number four and Dolph Ziggler can be 24. So we'll see if these two do clash in the ring. Same goes to Danny Bryan and Roman Reigns. But nevertheless, we need to start things to start raw off for uh, Dolph Ziggler, Tyson Kidd, and here comes Bubba Ray Dudley, getting ready to take on Triple H. Goodness, he's wearing some hardcore 5,150. Dudley making his way down to the ring. Last week he defeated Shawn Michaels to grant them the opportunity. Wrap the World Tag Team Championships. Ship even. Uh, for the Dudley boys since the to Monday Night Raw. And now, they have a chance, well, Bubba has a chance to try and beat the other side of uh, Generation X. Let's see if he can beat Triple H. And then we'll see if they can get the job done this Sunday. Of course, we'll find out all in due time. That is if Bubba can still beat Triple H tonight. Who's going to get the momentum heading into this Sunday? We're about to find out as we look at three announcers who are muted. Are you ready? Because here comes the Generation X. You do think that you're going you think you know me. You, you think you know me. Back at it! Hey! Making his way down to the ring. The uh, Mexican promotion Triple A making their way down to the ring here tonight. Shawn Michaels with a lovely skip, followed by the crotch chops of Triple H. Ah, oh, here we go. Degeneration X have been tagging champions for some time now, and they've been doing a pretty damn good job with it. But the Dudleys have been one of the most impactful teams we've seen in Raw for some time. So we're for an interesting tag match this Sunday. In fact, all the tag matches on every brand is going to be interesting. So in a way I do have to be biased and say that the Kingdom vs. the NWO is going to be perhaps the biggest tag match and perhaps one of the biggest matches of the night. But nevertheless, back to focusing on Raw. Fireworks everywhere. We are looking at two guys who were both one title away from being a Triple Crown Champion. I mean, we've got Shawn Michaels, Titan Champion, and East Derby Champion. The just needs the US title. And we've got Triple H, US, and World Titan Champion. Just needs the World Titan. Combined, they are, in fact, Triple Crown Champions. But that doesn't count. There's a hot shot off the ropes. They start off the match. Triple H will take control, it seems. Big chop across the chest. And massive backbreaker to Bubba. Of course, when you look at it on paper, 
by looking at weights and everything and heights and you know advantage goes massively to Triple H when it comes to against Shawn Michaels and maybe Bubba will feel the effect of that as these two get under well they're not really underway as these two continue the motions this has been all Triple H so far Bubba Ray Dudley finally getting into it reversing a move there getting quick arm drag in but he's getting reversed already Irish whip off the ropes big knee across the face Triple H picking up Baba now. Oh, big punch. Another punch. Another punch. Up against the ropes again. What's Triple H going to do? Irish Wear. Wow, what a reversal. Arm drag. Chop. Punch. Up against the ropes. Triple H reverses it. Sends Baba to the outside. And Michael's backing up. And oh, Triple H getting bleached up. And now he's looking at Baba. Oh, he's always up in a Devon. My apologies. The crowds for some reason chanting Triple H. I don't think I've ever heard that in my life. Spinebuster! Well, that didn't take him long. Well, this didn't take him long at all. Triple H, I think, has this one in the bag. He has him hooked. Both arms. For the pedigree. Let's take a look at that. Boom. And the cover. What? Oh, Devon. 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 Triple H not taking kindly to Devon. Striking him from behind. Now getting back in the ring. Send Devon a message today. Backbreaker. Ah, Triple H. Oh my god, Bubba's up to his feet. Bubba with a clothesline. Ducks under. Bubba. Huge. <laughs> Backdrop followed up he by the Spine Buster. Bubba oh, no, slowly getting himself back into this match. No yeah, mind. Triple H reverses it. No, wait. No, that's the. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now he's wrenching on his neck. Twisted to the side by Golly. And he throws him down. Thank you for choosing to watch WWE on this Monday night. We promise to bring you a Look at Devil on the outside. He's like, woo! Great action. So once again, this gets locked in. I don't know. Shawn Michaels just looks a bit uh, Paul Heyman esque. He's doing a very good Paul Heyman job there. It's like from the. Oh dear. But his falling of the arms was tremendous. Cover. One. One, as you can see, there no cheating on DX's side when they accept the loss. They accept the loss, and Devon seems to be getting a lot of dust off his shit. Must be a dusty arena we're in tonight. Turns him around, Bubba butt bomb. Ah, triple B's. Cover. One, two, Triple H is out again. Triple H still fighting on in this matchup, not letting Bubba. Get the win. Reversal. Jawbreaker. Spy Buster. Where is he gonna, he's picking him up. Triple H, this time with a kick to the gut for added measures. Pedigree again. Bubba's busted wide open from it. Triple H is going to the outside apparently. I think he's trying to prevent a distraction. Take it out, Bubba. Sorry, Devon. I keep on getting the names confused. Getting back in the ring, but he could have taken wow. a bit too much time there. Bubba getting back up to his feet slowly. Cover. One. So. Two. Yeah. See? Yeah. Took too long. And he paid for it. Can you believe the endurance of this guy? Bubba still in this match. Barely, but he's still in it. Look out. Triple H. Sitching him in, cross face, the Here move of the WWE Champion over at SmackDown. Over at Smackdown. Bobby Roode and Daniel Bryan and Chris Benoit, but you know, never mind. And, oh my god, Triple H makes Bubba tap. Well, that was fast. Triple H not happy with the finish. We need to change it. We're supposed to go over by there. Well, this is very Triple H like. This is so Triple H strike as Michael points at him. Michael's doing nothing in that match, but you know, never mind. 
Triple H wins and the cast match in his hands. Because he's the game. They didn't bring what he's in the race anymore. But there you go, Triple H wins. Just like that. Now it's time for our next contest after that one. Momentum kind of split down the middle between the Dudleys and Degeneration X ahead of this Sunday. But we'll see who goes in with momentum. Will it be Del Rio into the Royal Rumble? <laughs> or Dean Ambrose in his match against Edge. Whoever uh, Del Rio is. Oh, there he is. Hey. He's so proud right now. Listen to that reaction. The WWE Universe is not shy about letting this superstar know what they think of Well, there we go. Uh, yeah, Del Rio, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, Del Rio, if he wants a chance of winning, is going to need a high number in my mind if he needs a chance of winning the Royal Rumble. But Ugram's a guy who might just beat Edge in general, as much as I am ick to admit it. Well, there we go. You're looking at one of the most unpredictable superstars of all time, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose standing in the middle of the ring, getting ready for his match against Edge. Because as we know, Dean Ambrose is about to lose his streak for longest reigning Intercontinental Champion. But if he beats Edge tonight, he will, uh, not tonight, if he beats Edge at the Royal Rumble, he will get one step closer to beating Matt Hardy's streak. However, I still think he's a bit away. Uh, as these two get ready with the collar and elbow tire. Yeah, there's a wrench. And there's a wrench again by Del Rio. Dean Ambrose will look to get out of this as quickly as possible. Which has it go well. Ambrose coming back now and he's pushing him off to the ropes. Dean Ambrose as Del Rio up against the ropes here. Referee going to of course force the break. And Del Rio with a cheap shot across the face of the United States champion. And oh my god, Ambrose responding. I got an attack punch in his chest, punch in his nipples. Oh, he's thrusting. Oh my god. Never seen wrestling like it. Ambrose sending Del Rio to the corner. Out he bounces, back he comes. Suplex time. Attaboy. The eccentric and calculated Dean Ambrose has created an Picks him unbelievable up. arsenal that punishes opponents. To those opponents, they must be aware of oh, the Oh, crashes out of the corner. Sinkney, running drop kick, snap DDT, and his corkscrew elbow. Oh, oh no jawbreaker. Way. Irish whip brings him back. And Tilt to a backbreaker by Del Rio there. Oh, and a double foot stomp. Nash answers the NWO will be in touch. Oh god. This will be a physical battle. We're Reversal right there. Oh, a drop kick to the knee, which apparently so sends Del Rio back to the corner. Throws him out. Second rope. Bulldog! Ambrose picking up Del Rio now. Wrenching him again, working on the head, of course, trying to build up the dirty deeds, trying to make this match as easy as possible. I know Backs off the row, backdrop. And it's important to remember that each of Ambrose's moves can and will so change up. the course of a match. Today, too fast. Oh, Got back and forth reversals, I think. Uh oh, brings him in. Power bomb. Massive power bomb jumps over for the cover. We got one, two, no, just two. Just keep on coming, and he can attack from any point in an arena. Massive head, but they running into a brick wall. Get ready for chaos. Uh -oh. One face lock by Ambrose. He's going to take him to the ropes. Oh, this is not going oh to be Irish good. whip. No way. Reverse it for him. Oh, my God. The lunatic. Close line. Cover right after it. Ambrose trying to put him away early on. Two. Nope. Two. Well, like 
Just two. Timing is everything. Del Rio getting up to his feet incredibly early there. Oh. Kick to the gut. Oh, reversal there. Massive drop kick by Del Rio. Oh my god, almost a punt kick. Punt kick. Hey, here we go. Finally got it. Oh, Del Rio has him up. We're looking at complete domination Back down, obviously. There we go. Strike to the face. Reversal by Ambrose. Who's got him hooked in? Dirty deeds incoming. He got it. Ambrose with the pin. One, two. Del Rio kicks out. And you want a strategy? For anyone going up against Dean Ambrose, you have to be ready for anything. He's trying to take it to the top rope now. Is what Dean can do oh to my him. god, beautiful in the Geary by Del Rio to get himself out of that one. Here we go. This could be He's got him. Oh. Attacking the arm. If you can hear in the background, I'm eating my food. And into the cover. Cover. Two. Yep, Ambrose is out. I can't name the food. Actually, I can. It's pasta. With some carrots and stuff. Trying to eat healthy. Moving by, there's a massive slab of beef. Nice move. That looked like one of my own drop kicks. Very nice. Ambrose. Going to the top rope now. Wow, what well a move. Diving fish drop. Of course, I would say if he was Edge. There we go. If he was Edge, he'd be taking, you know, notes in the back. If I was Edge, I'd be taking notes in the back. But then again, it is Dean Ambrose. I don't really know where you could take notes against him. And the power bomb wins it. Wow, two rubbish finishes in the row. Kevin Ash will be in touch with that jacket. Here's your winner, Dean Ambrose. Well, Dean Ambrose is victorious against Alberto Del Rio. Del Rio's needing a behind number increases. And Nambo's chances of walking out still, United States champion, increase as well. We're going to see what happens. Well, we're going to see what happens with the Royal Rumble nonetheless. Of course, we've just seen Dean Ambrose get the win, but can his opponent for this Sunday get the win as well? Edge getting ready to take on the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Tyler Breeze, who kind of surprised everyone by making his raw debut and he's done a really good job so far so good that he's getting a shot at Sting this Sunday but we'll see what happens anyway match time again oh shit the wi-fi is gone good thing I'm not with anyone but yeah Matarango number 95 Something, something, lots of pyro. Thank you all for providing once again one of your worst songs. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 241 pounds. Here we go. Listening to the reaction this guy gets from a crowd, never gets home. What an Edge. In the second row. Okay, well, Edge getting ready for this match. I mean, it's Tyler Breeze of Winter and I will put him in big momentum. In big momentum. <laughs> wow. Put him in a big uh, string of momentum heading into the Sunday, but then again. There's one man who really needs the win. It's the one who's just caused all the lightning to go out. And approaching the ring from seasonal residency, weighing in at 206 pounds, Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze's season of residency. There we go. We're at you today from northern France. Somewhere around there. It's nice. Vineyards and shit. Um, but Tyler Breeze commented on Sting recently, saying that Sting is nothing more than an uggo. Saying that he hides his face. Not because he's using it. He doesn't paint his face up to use it as a point of inflicting fear. He paints his face up because he's scared of how he looks. He's petrified that he looks nothing 
like as Tyler Breeze. Nothing as gorgeous as Prince Pretty. He can call himself the man from every man's nightmare, but the fact is, Tyler Breeze's good dashing looks are Sting's nightmare. And this Sunday, Agoville is going to have another participant in Sting. And the World Heavyweight Championship is going home to the King of Cuteville. And Prince Pretty is going to take his throne, his gorgeous throne, atop Monday Night Raw. Tyler Breeze very infatuated about the looks of Sting. And Sting being scared of his looks and everything. But the fact is, Sting doesn't care about looks. In fact, he doesn't care about anything. Let's be honest, it's Sting. He will just he'll just go into this match, probably beat the shit out of Tyler Breeze and Whatever. Tyler Breeze is more focused on his you know ego and trying to get into Sting's mind than actually focusing on Sting himself. <sighs> Which could be Tyler Breeze's downfall. Big time. Oh, and he's mocking him already. Trying to send a message to Sting there with a scorpion death drop, sort of. His own version of it. Oh, the leg drop does not connect. Elbow drop. Stump to the gut. And now Edge trying to pick up Breeze. Breeze reversing his way out of the shoulder tackle down. Breeze out on the apron. Trying to grab Edge. This time he's got him. Oh, Edge's throat going right down into the mat. Whoa. Cover. Not even a one count. I imagine Sting is watching up in the rafters, as he always does. And Tyler Breeze with a hurricanrana. Dean Ambrose is probably watching backstage. Knee to the gut. Trying to take notes against the two-time World Heavyweight Champion. Neck breaker there by Breeze. Meanwhile, Breeze with a chance to win his first title this Sunday, and what a opportunity it would be if he could win his first title. Thinking to avoid that. Oh wow. Out of the corner. Thank you for choosing to watch Dirty uh -oh. Dirty on this Monday night. Because Massive power bomb. Speaking of Edge's spear, I'll never forget watching him spear Mick Foley through a flaming table. And Edge picking him up 22. suplex here. Talk about a WrestleMania moment. No Reversed. Like Edge. Suplex by Breeze. Edge's to a leg hit the turnbuckle slightly. How about that one he did to Jeff Hardy off Stomp. the leg at WrestleMania X7? Wow. Brings him in again. Center of the ring. Kick to the gut. DDT. Oh, and the attack goes back to Edge's neck. What an offense. Oh, man. Michael, this might be the oh. gravest test. Good face lock. Tyler Breeze really him. focusing on the head. Oh, man. What a neck and the neck of Edge. Working over it for that beauty shot. Oh, kicks to the gut. Prince Pretty has picked up a lot of steam. I know he's part man and all model, but Tyler Breeze is taking... Oh, supermodel kick. And he gets leveled. Oh, beauty, no, reversed. Wow, the beauty shot reversed. Execution. One. One. All right. Edge needs to do a bit more work on Tyler Breeze if he wants to get the win here tonight. Yeah, ref. Whatever. Come on. Off the ropes. Whoa! Good reversal by Breeze. Harakaraning his way out again. Breeze going to take this to the top rope now. Could be a dangerous moment for Breeze. And it's going to be one spear! Just like that Goldberg last week in mid -air. Cover. One. Two. Breeze kicks out. Wow. Just when Edge thought he had it in the bag, Breeze gets the shoulder up. And this match continues on again. Michinoku driver by Breeze. Stomp to the P. Picks him up. The longer this match goes on, the more worn out these two guys could be for Sunday. And that's really going to affect Tylo Breeze more than it's going to affect uh, Edge. But again, Edge has got a pretty big opponent. 
Uh oh, top rope DDT. Cover. One, two, kicked out again. Hoo hoo, that was close. Edge in a bit more control. Prince Pretty has picked up a oh, reversal, steam. taking him down. That was rough. Oh, we got a Breeze's gorgeous chan breaking out. Supermodel kick again. Cruz is all edge trying to get back up to his feet. Irish whip. Oh, up collision. Yeah, Kick to the guy. To the hey, works, yeah, Edge the bringing him in. Belly to belly. Overhead. You know, to be great in this Reversal. It's as easy as Big elbow. Right collision right again, time. apparently. Kick to the <laughs> gut. Beauty shot. This time he got him. Cover. Two. No! Wow! Oh, I was not expecting that. Edge kicks out. Neither man getting the job done. Wow. What match has it been? Breeze trying to steal it. Roll up by Breeze. Breeze in the ropes. Breeze trying to do anything in his power to win this on Hurricane Rana. You're going to be seeing stars. Yeah, or at least looking up at the lights. Oh, oh no, chop the boost. He's not going to stop until his opponent can't tell you. Execution. Cover. This could be it. One. Two. No. And the match continues. Again. showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. How does Tyler Breeze do that? This is an amazing fight from Breeze. Ever since before, just before Armageddon, Breeze has really changed up his game. Or even at Armageddon, you could say. Oh, spear reversed! And now Breeze looking for the win. Again, a second beauty shot. The cover. One, two. Tyler Breeze gets the win. What a match. Neither man wanted to give in there. Tyler Breeze is the winner. Tyler Breeze victorious as he gets ready for the Royal Rumble. Congratulations for Tyler Breeze there, but that match did go on for some time. That could he could have picked up a lingering injury in that, which might affect him heading into this Sunday against Sting. We don't know. We'll see what happens at the Royal Rumble anyway when he takes on Sting. Speaking of Sting, because he's in action next, so he gets ready to take on Stone Cold. the ring now of course as I've said perhaps the biggest name when it comes to Royal Rumble Stone Cold with the most elimination in Royal Rumble history with six last year also was it involved in quite a big moment when him and Triple H stood uh, well stood next to each other in the ring Triple H I believe has the longest time held in the Royal Rumble let's see what happened this year around when Stone Cold Steve Austin gets ready for the Royal Rumble of course, to do that first, he's got to go through Sting. This should be fun. Here comes Sting. Getting ready for Breeze. This, and look at Austin waiting in the middle of the ring, anxiously for Sting. Here he is.
Ding. The world champion as it has been since Survivor Series. Well, Sting has done something that no one else on the Raw brand could do since, since that man won the title. He defeated Finn Balor not once, but twice. He's driven Balor away. He's driven Balor into a state that we don't even know where Balor is. Meanwhile, Sting's emotion never changes. No ego towards being the one to slay the demon. No ego towards being the one to drive Finn Balor away from Raw for the time being. He's just the same emotionless person. We don't even know what Sting sounds like. We don't get interviews from Sting. He just walks into the ring, does his job, and disappears. Into the tie up they go, but who's going to end up with the upper well, Here we go, hand. anyway. Well, to tell, Sting's so thing. mysterious, but at the same time, such an entertaining world champion. Look at this clean break with Stone Cold. You can't put a price tag on see who's going to get the win strike. here tonight. And I've been told that Austin, up. since his match against Dean Ambrose, oh, has been wrestling with concussions. But he's wrestling through it for the sake of the Monday Night Raw <coughs> fans and backstage people. And you know, that is heart by Stone Cold. And of course, a concussion is hard going to keep someone like Stone Cold Steve Austin down. Uh-oh. Into the buckle. And onto the floor. And Sting already going to take it to the top rope. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Whoa! Elbow drop. A man of many colors and looks over his illustrious career. Sting has a physical power and intensity that comes from deep within him. The decorated star will never back down from a challenge and will tirelessly defend all that is good inside and outside the Sting square. Sting gonna take it to the but second. Oh, but for the splash! Stone Cold moved out of the way the there. Oh my god, doesn't even get any offense in on Sting. Sting Kick to the gut. Oh, big elbow to the top of the head. Well, no, we do know what Sting sounds like with Whoa! And that's it. Nope, reversal. Austin throws him away. Reversal by Steve Austin. And there's the reversal from Sting. And now Sting picking up Austin again. Oh, there's that signature Sting strike to the chest. Up against the ropes now. Hot shot. Stun gun even, I mean. Sting gonna go over this top rope again. Oh, big splash there down onto Stone Cold Steve Austin. Punch to the side of the gut. Sting reverses. Because over these last few weeks, we've been, sting, been seeing Sting struggle slightly with some opponents. John Cena, Shawn Michaels, they put up really good fights against Sting. And they're sort of the closest we've seen to Sting being defeated over these last few weeks. Sting has become almost more vulnerable. As people start to try and figure out who Sting really is and perhaps... I mean, it's a slim chance, but perhaps he could crack on Sunday against Tyler Breeze. Imagine if Tyler Breeze was the one to beat. Sting, that would be shocking. Uh-oh, Sting, Tombstone. Bam! Right down under Stone Cold, just like that. Where is Sting going now? I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Uh oh, Sting for the first time in his life has the Scorpion Deathlock searched in the against someone who Sting's probably won't out. tap out, but you know, it's, it's ambitious to try. Got it really locked in here. And, and nope, What's Steve Austin was never going to tap out, let's be honest. Holding his head though, the concussion might seriously begin to Austin, but he's still he's fighting back. And now Austin with a bow and arrow, but Sting is in the ropes apparently. Oh, what a shot. That did some serious damage. Uh oh, neck breaker. Apparently we cannot connect this. We're still disconnected from the Wi-Fi. Now whatever this application is, must be the monitor. Ah, oh, it's a kick out of one. There's something hidden in the monitor that I don't know. Turnbuckle. Uh oh, Austin got him. Face first goes Sting. 
Austin slowly coming back. There's press. Down goes Sting. Cover immediately by Austin. Trying to take advantage of it. One. Two. Nope. Sting. Still not done for. It's going to take more than that to keep him down tonight. Austin looking for it. He sees it. Never mind. Great. Now he is. No, King of the God is caught. Sting, Sting you see him there shaking his head. So much has taken place in this match that if you're behind Sting and Austin and almost like you have no tonight, chance of hitting that on me. We've lost the connection to the Wi-Fi again. On drag by Austin, but as you can see, he's getting somewhat tired out from all this. Perhaps wrestling with a Concussion and other injuries might be getting to Stone Cold, or might just be Sting in general. Is no, nah, I don't think Sting is cracking it to Stone Cold. That would be impossible. Here we go, Sting, punching him up against the ropes. Irish whip, massive clothesline. Apparently, no. Austin rolling up Sting, trying to do anything he can to get the win. Sting's out at one. You know, it's hard to believe, but it looks Austin like trying to get himself some momentum. Oh my god, is he, he's going to take Sting up to the top row. This could be big. Oh no, he's putting him in the tree of woe even. Austin, his as we speak. Stomp there and now digging his boot into the face of Sting. The way Austin's standing off above Sting there like a rapist. Why not? Use it. And Austin again sending Sting into the turnbuckle. Sing a splash him! Or just do nothing. Get caught with a boot to the face. Oh my god, turns him round just like that. Scorpion death job. Forget about it. Match over. Cover. One, two, whenever he wants. Sting can hit it. And whenever he wants it to, Sting can end the match. And that could be the same for this Sunday. Here's your winner, Take Kevin note, Tyler Breeze. Sting. This is the man the you have called out. This is the this man you are trying to threaten. Hey, Woo! A man who takes no threats at all. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining this us. is the man of Monday Night Raw. And it is going to take a minor miracle for Tyler Breeze to have a chance of stopping him. You never know. Last month he said it was going to take a miracle to take the file off Brock Lesnar. In a multi-man match and that did the trick. Maybe we need to put Sting in a multi-man match and try and take that world championship from him. We'll find out, but you never know. You never know with Tyler Breeze. He could perform a massive upset and take the title from Sting. We'll just have to find out what's going to happen. But there we go. It's all settled. Regarding Monday Night War heading into the Royal Rumble. The Dudley's looking to try and take those tag team titles away from Triple H and Shawn Michaels of D-Generation X. Dean Ambrose taking on Edge as he tries to keep his world title, as he tries to keep his United States Championship. And meanwhile, Edge for the first time in, in over two years is trying to win a title from the Raw's main event, technically. Sting defends his title again against Tyler Breeze. What is going to happen? Will the mysterious one walk out still World Heavyweight Champion or the King of Cuteville perform a major upset? We'll find out. Of course, that with the Royal Rumble. We'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Ta-ra.